Hi everybody, welcome back to the 2018 Crochet Along. We're reaping you one granny square every day for 365 days. We are on day 88. Now, yesterday we did control issues uh, number 87. Uh, it was con We called it control issues number one. So today is control issues number two. Here's the second version of this square. This version, uh, we're calling it the sunflower with outer lacy effect. If you remember yesterday's version was the wagon wheel or steering wheel with the inner lacy. And what we've done here is we've taken this lacy part here and we've added it to the outside here. And then obviously our outside corners are now on the inside. And we're not doing the wheel on this one. We're doing a sunflower kind of effect on this one. And I know the pink's horrible for the camera. I'm really sorry about that. But I got to use this yarn up and it is the test uh, swatch. So anyway, um, today we are doing this one. So I'm going to be using one, two, three, four different colors. Um, in original pattern, it, they use one color. It's up to you want to do. You can change colors with me or you can stay using your own color. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first round is, the first five rounds are different this one. Yes, they are different this one because we are um, doing a different center. We're not doing the wheel center. So, okay, uh, chain four, join into your first chain to form a circle. And I hope this color is friendly for the viewing pleasure here. Um, or doing magic ring and you will chain one and then you will work eight single crochet into your circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I know I move really fast in my videos, uh, whereas in the beginning when I first started with the cow here doing videos, I would go a lot slower, but our squares are a lot more um, in depth these days, so I, I'm working a lot faster so to slow it down so you can see what I'm doing there is the option to uh, slow the video down and I apologize if I go too fast for you so one two three four five six seven eight we have eight single crochet if you do the magic ring go ahead tighten it up join with a slip stitch into your first single crochet gosh I really hope this color is somewhat friendly on video if not I'm really sorry y'all Okay, round two, um, you can chain three and it will count as your double crochet or you can do your chainless double. If you watch my videos, then you know this is my preference and it always is a preference. Work one more double crochet into the same stitch. Now you're going to work two double crochets in each stitch. Okay. You're going to repeat this all the way around, two double crochets into each stitch until you have 16 double crochet. You will join with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three or uh, chainless double crochet. Okay, so when I have 16 double crochet all the way around, I will get back with you and we will begin round number okay, three. Okay, so round two, I finished off here. I have 16 double crochets all the way around. And now we're going to work round number three. We're going to chain one. And then we're going to work two single crochets into the same stitch that we just joined into. And we're gonna work two single crochets in every stitch around. So work your two single crochets in each stitch until you get back to the beginning. You will join with a slip stitch into your beginning single crochet. And then make sure and count your stitches and make sure that you have 32 single crochet, okay? Um, if you are gonna be changing colors with me, we are going to be cutting our yarn after this round. If you're not, that's fine. You can, I will um, still give you the instructions on how to do it, uh, whether or not you change colors, okay? So let me finish this round, make sure you have 32 single crochet, and I will get right back with you for round number four. Okay, so round number four. Um, I'm changing color here. If you're if you're changing with me, you can join with a slip stitch into the stitch that we joined into and chain three, or you can do a standing double crochet. It's whatever you want to do. If you're not changing colors and you're keeping with your color, you can chain three and it'll still count as your double crochet, 
or you can do a chainless double crochet. Okay, so we are going to be doing the uh, crochet uh, four together technique that we did on yesterday's square. And you, if you remember yesterday's square, I did the same technique with changing the color and joining with a new color. So if you're uh, doing a um, chainless double crochet or changing colors and doing a standing double crochet, either way, you're going to need to not finish off the last two stitches. Okay, if you're chaining three, that's fine. Don't worry about it. This doesn't even apply. Okay, so instead you'll just pull through the two. Okay, and then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. If you're doing the uh, chain or standing double crochet, make sure you hang on to your loose hoop here that you haven't worked into yet because um, you don't want to lose that. Okay, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and one more time because we're double crocheting four together pull through two and then you're gonna pull through all five there we go chain four one two three and four now we're gonna work into the next stitch and we're going to do it again we're going to do four double crochet together so go into your next stitch you see here we've complete we've already worked into this so we need to go into the next one here so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, again, next stitch, pull through two, and one more time, and next stitch, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all five loops, and chain four, one, two, three, four, okay? I'll show you how to do it one more time, and then I'll leave you all to finish off your round yourselves. So we're going to go into the next unworked stitch. I didn't realize how unfriendly my colors are to camera here. I promise I won't do that again next time. <laughs> we'll, we'll save these types of stitches for once the uh, round is actually worked. But um, So we're going to go into the next stitch here. We've worked into this one. We're going to start into the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the next, yarn over two, yarn over, insert in the next, yarn over two, and that gives us five. So yarn over, pull through all five, and chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so repeat this all the way around until you get back to your beginning. You're going to finish with a chain four, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into um, your beginning um, four double crochet four together and you should have eight double crochet four together all the way around and you should have eight chain four spaces okay and I am changing color again as this yellow oh no, no I actually had a plan to change this color so anyway yep we're gonna change color next round you don't have to but um, I'll get back with you when I finish this and we will begin round number five okay so if you're staying with your color and you're not changing any color you can go ahead and chain one. If you are changing color with me, go ahead, get your yarn on your hook here, and you're going to go into the same space right here where everybody is going to be working into, and you're going to perform a single crochet. If you are not changing color and you're changing one or chaining one, you're going to perform your first single crochet into this space. Okay? And now you're going to work five more single crochets into the same chain four space. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And work six single crochet into the next chain four space. One, two, three, four, five and six, six single crochet into the next chain four space. And repeat this all the way around until you have 48 single crochet. And when I have 48 single crochet, 
I will be right back with you and we will begin round number six. Okay, so for round six, um, you should have joined into your first single crochet with a slip stitch. If your uh, square or circle here is starting to bow up, that's fine because it's going to flatten itself out here once we start to work our corners. So don't worry about that. It's nothing that you're doing wrong if yours is. If it's not, good for you. I'm glad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not changing colors this round. So you're going to chain four. It will count as a treble, or you can do the chainless. So yarn over, pull through that, yarn over, pull through those, yarn over, pull through those, and there's your first treble. You're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. And now you're going to work one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So if you guys can see here, one, two, and now we're gonna work one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So the next two stitches put one in each of those, one, two, then put one double crochet into the next stitch, one, and one treble crochet into the next stitch. Now you're going to work your corner into the next stitch. Two trebles, chain two, two trebles. So there's one, two trebles, chain two, and put two more trebles into the same stitch. One more. Now we're going to work a treble into the next stitch. And now we're going to work a double crochet into the next, and then two, one half double into the next two stitches, and one single crochet into the next three stitches, one half double in the next two stitches, one double crochet into the next stitch, one treble crochet into the next stitch and then make your corner into the next stitch. So two trebles, chain two and two trebles all in the same stitch. Okay, now you're going to work a treble into your next stitch and then you're going to repeat everything that we just did. So put a double crochet in the next um, and then your half double in the next two, one single in the next three, one half in the next two, one double in the next, one treble in the next, and then work your corner. Okay, so repeat everything that we just did all the way around until you get back to your beginning. Right here, you're going to join with a slip stitch. You'll, in the last stitch, you'll work your corner. And then you will join with a slip stitch into the, um, the beginning chain four, the fourth chain. Or if you did the uh, chain list, then you'll join with a slip stitch into that. You should have 24 treble crochets, four chain two spaces, eight double crochet, 16 half double crochet, and 12 single crochet. So um, make sure you count that, okay? And then once I'm finished doing this round, um, I will get back with you and we will begin round number seven. Okay, so if your work was curling, it should now be uh, flat. Um, so now we are going to begin round number seven. And I cut my yarn, so I'm gonna change my colors. You do not have to. If you do, we're going to join in the same space where we finished off with the slip stitch here. If you're... Um, keeping your same color, um, well then instead of uh, cutting your yarn, obviously, you're just going to chain one and work a single crochet into the same stitch here that you joined into. So if you are changing color with me, 
go ahead, get your yarn on your hook, and we're going to perform a single crochet right into the same space that we joined into. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and we're gonna skip one stitch. Move my tails out of the way here. So we joined here, we're gonna skip this stitch and we're gonna put a single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to chain three again. Skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the next. Chain three. Skip the next, work one into the next, a single crochet, and we are doing this all the way until we get to our corner space. So when I get to our corner space here, you will finish with a single crochet in the last stitch here, and then I'll show you how to work the corner. Okay, so you should have two, four, two, four, six uh, chain three spaces so far, and you should have finished off with a single crochet here in the uh, last treble before the chain space of the corner. You chain three, and then you work a single crochet right into the corner chain space. Chain three again. Make sure it's somewhat centered. Now you're gonna work a single crochet into the next stitch. Right here, from the chain space, our next stitch, we're gonna put a single crochet into it. One, two, three, okay? Skip the next, single crochet in the next. Chain three. Skip one single crochet into the next chain three skip one single crochet in the next one two three skip single crochet in the next chain three skip the next one single crochet into the next chain three skip the next single crochet into the next stitch one, two, three. Skip and single crochet in the last stitch here before our chain space. Chain three, two and three. Now put a single crochet into the corner space. Chain three and put a single crochet into the next stitch after the chain space there, okay? Two, three, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. So repeat this all the way around. Okay, you're gonna chain three, skip the next, uh, single crochet in the next, chain three, repeat that all the way down. You'll finish off your last single crochet in your corner, chain three, single crochet actually in the chain space, chain three, single crochet into the next stitch, and repeat the process all the way around till you get back to the beginning. When you get back to the beginning, when you work your last corner, you'll chain three, single crochet into the last stitch. Sorry, I'm off camera here, my fault. You'll single crochet in your last treble here. You'll chain three and you'll skip the stitch and you will join with a slip stitch into your beginning single crochet. Or if you did chain one because you didn't change colors, then you'll slip stitch into the chain one instead. Okay? So when I finish this, I will get back to you. You should have 36 chain three spaces. Okay, so this is what your uh, square should look like now. You should have 36 chain three spaces. So round number eight not changing color but we are going to chain one and we're going to put three single crochet in each of the next seven chain three spaces so one two three four five six seven we'll get it all the way over here and then we will work our corner for this okay so let's put three single crochet in the next chain space two three three in the next one two and three three in the next one two and three and that's gonna bother me so it's getting clipped <laughs> bothers me okay so three single crochet oops I only put two there one two I did no I didn't one Two, three. I got three. Okay, so three in the next one, two, three, three in the next one, two, and three, three in the next chain space, two, and three. And we wanted the next seven, so let's count here one, two, three, four, five, six. So one more. Three single crochet in the next chain three space, two, 
and three. Now you're going to chain two and then work three single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three. Now you're going to uh, work three single crochet in the next eight chain three spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you will chain two and then put uh, three single crochet into the next stitch and then three single crochet into all the chain spaces, the next eight, and then chain two, and then continue on, so on and so forth. So when I've completed this all the way around, I will get back with you, and you should have 108 single crochets and four chain two spaces. Okay, so you should have worked 108 single crochets, and you should have four little chain two spaces here. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Let me zoom out for you. Let me try to flatten mine. I worked with a bigger hook on smaller yarn, so it makes it somewhat, I guess you would say, uh, wonky and floppy. And Anyway, so there it is, everybody. This is number 88, Control Issues Part 2, or Version 2, whichever you prefer to call it. Okay? So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and one of us will try to get back with you as soon as possible. Um, if you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You know the whole deal. And if you're actually new to the video and you uh, this is your first time seeing it and you're not yet in our crochet along and you would like to join us, in the description box down below there is a link to our group. And so until next time everybody, happy hooking.